Poisons are everywhere inside this Tampa factory, Florida's only lead smelter. Cadmium, arsenic, toxic gases, but lead is the most common. Inside, you would think it's dirt, but it's not dirt. What I know now, it was lead. About 300 people work at Gopher Resource. Workers take old car batteries and recycle them. They remove the lead and melt it down in furnaces that burn at 1,500 degrees. It's dangerous work. All I hear is boom. And next thing I know, I'm hopping on one foot out the building. Cole Brown worked at Gopher Resource for six years. He started on the factory floor and worked his way up to supervisor in the furnace department. A glop of lead went straight down and it ate the socks that I had on, ate the pants leg, all of that. Um, this is a third degree burn. I had to get a skin graft surgery. Burns weren't the only hazard. A Tampa Bay Times investigation found that hundreds of workers have been exposed to extreme amounts of lead and other chemical threats at Gopher. Inside that building, the lead is airborne. It's gonna get on you. It's gonna get in you. The place is not clean. Mechanical troubles at the plant prevented proper ventilation, resulting in dangerous levels of poisons lingering in the air. The Times found that standard issue respirators couldn't protect workers when the levels of poison spiked. That happened more than a quarter of the time in the furnace department. We're just wearing something for nothing. And you would accept it as being your fault instead of, it was never your fault. You were set up to fail from the get go. The CDC considers levels over five micrograms per deciliter elevated which can lead to high blood pressure, heart, and kidney problems. Cole's highest level reached 34. He left Gopher in 2017 after a disagreement with the plant manager. The last time I got checked was last year and I still had a seven. Gopher wrote in a statement to the Times that they've made improvements since buying the plant in 2006, adding, our people and the communities we serve are the most important part of our work we go to significant lengths to keep our employees safe. The company declined an interview. I gave this company my life, and it's like they betrayed me. Some workers took desperate measures to rid their bodies of lead, including dangerous treatments that stripped metals from the body. When my blood lead got high, I found this guy in Oldsmar. He does chelation. Some would go donate blood. Health experts say that's troubling because blood banks don't screen for metals that might contaminate the blood supply. People rationalize this for their benefit because they started paying us really well. I'm when he first started working at Gopher in 2011, Cole, like other workers, saw it as a new beginning. We talked about how we were able to go and buy a house. You know, before that, we wasn't thinking about we could ever afford a mortgage or whatever. And we felt like they made that possible for us. And it's like, at what cost? For some, that cost was their children's health. The Times found that at least 16 children of current or former workers have been exposed to lead. They didn't have one from a uh... Uh, Gopher told the Times that it is not aware of any children of workers with lead poisoning that could be attributed to the plant. When he was born, the pediatrician that we had, she knew where I worked at. So first thing she did was a lead level on him. He, had a, he came out as a four. Any amount of lead in children is considered unsafe. The neurotoxin is known to cause developmental issues and digestive problems. To keep him from getting more, I took on a new regimen. Like, I only drove one car to work. I would change in the garage. I had a phone for work. 
but that phone stayed at work. Colin, now seven, has autism, and he's recently started having seizures. His high function autistic makes it difficult for him to go to school, be around people. And then he has a, he has a system issue. He has to take a regimen of medication. Doctors can't say for sure if lead contributed to Colin's health issues, but his parents are suspicious. I just, that's what angers me because they, it's like they don't care. I want them to change the way that they're doing this process. The protection got to get better.